Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, President Obama released his federal budget, emphasizing the tough choices necessary to live within our means while preserving strategic investments needed to win the future, like education. He also awarded the Medal of Freedom to President George H.W. Bush, among others. That's February 11th to the 17th, or goodbye, Gibbs. It's a little more, it's a little less than that usually when I go, but they do it every day. On Friday, February 11th, the president went to the Grand Foyer to make a statement following President Mubarak's decision to step down in the face of massive protests in Egypt. The people of Egypt have spoken, their voices have been heard, and Egypt will never be the same. The president also discussed a different kind of departure on Friday, saying goodbye to his press secretary, Robert Gibbs. Sorry. <coughs> what are you going to do with this, though? Oh, that stays. Yeah. The president also returned the tie that Robert lent to him when he spoke at the 2004 Democratic National Convention. Uh, the, uh, I wanted this on the record, on camera, that I'm finally returning Robert's tie. Uh, and if he chooses to break the glass, he can. On February 14th, Valentine's Day, President Obama traveled to Maryland, where he unveiled his budget at Parkville Middle School and Center of Technology where students focus on science, technology, engineering, and math to show how investments in education are essential to ensuring every American is equipped to outcompete workers around the world. So, now, th th is this seventh grade or eighth grade? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Well, excuse me, I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> the president was then joined by Secretary of Education Arne Duncan and OMB Director Jack Lew. Now, these investments are an essential part of the budget my administration is sending to Congress because I'm convinced that if we outbuild and out-innovate and out-educate, as well as out-hustle the rest of the world, the jobs and industries of our time will take root here in the United States. On Tuesday, President Obama convened a news conference in the South Court Auditorium. Before taking questions, he addressed some of the tough choices that he made in his budget proposal. And just like every family in America, the federal government has to do two things at once. It has to live within its means while still investing in the future. If your family trying to cut back, you might skip going out to dinner, you might put off a vacation, but you wouldn't want to sacrifice saving for your kid's college education or making key repairs in your house. That afternoon, the president awarded the Medal of Freedom, the highest honor bestowed upon a civilian to some outstanding individuals from many different vocations, including President George Herbert Walker Bush and poet Maya Angelou. Famed cellist and medal winner Yo-Yo Ma, who is used to being a performer at the White House, snuck off to play with the Marine Corps String Quartet. On Wednesday, February 16th, the president was interviewed by regional television outlets from across the country about how the budget and the government must function within its means in order to make the investments we need to win the future. What we have of higher deficits, look, make some prudent spending cuts, but let's still invest in education, in innovation, in infrastructure, so that we're building and winning for the future. That afternoon, the president received the annual report from the Boy Scouts of America in the Oval Office. This is our official report. It gives our report of our centennial year in scouting. I'd like to draw your attention to our dedication to a century of service in America. On Thursday, February 17th, President Obama boarded Air Force One for a trip to Intel's Advanced Semiconductor Manufacturing Facility in Hillsboro, Oregon. But on the way, he made a detour to the San Francisco Bay Area, home to many of the nation's high-tech companies, where he met with a number of business leaders in technology and innovation to talk about the ways growth in these industries can spur the economy and create jobs right here in America. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. That's right. Let's run straight. Okay. It's <laughs> it, take, it takes two Obamas to make me look good. <laughs> I'm gonna button this up. Okay.